Hello, my beautiful words of love and light, and welcome to this weekly tarot reading from June 28th to July 4th. So we're entering into July. I can't believe that already. <laughs> so last week, I totally forgot to ha wish happy birthday to all my beautiful Cancer Cancerians. <laughs> so happy birthday. And um, we're heading into July. It's like incredible. July 1st is Canada Day, so happy Canada Day to all of my fellow Canadians. And July 4th is happy uh, birthday America. So it's July 4th. So uh, lots of celebration coming in. But for me, as um, on this journey, I feel like there's changes coming in. Massive changes, massive reveals. So this week I decided to use Major Arcanas as the first pull and then I will use the minor arcana as the rest of the pull and uh, the reason I did that is because I feel like a lot of people's karmic uh, debts or karmas are ending and we're heading into like a new uh, journey a new earth so um, I felt like this week was a good week to to see what are your major lessons that you need to learn and um, so before we begin, I want to do this. I did this on Instagram and I want to do this again for you guys on YouTube if you're not there on Instagram with me. So I'm going to ring it and we're going to do a deep breath in, hold, and then breathe out. So just get some calm. We need some calm in this world. All right, so. beautiful week enjoy this end of June and hello July <laughs> I will see you next week and I'll see you in your readings now bye hello my beautiful Aries so we picked the death card which is Scorpio if that's in your chart that could be relevant but also it's um, could be a Scorpio around you the death card is a really beautiful energy for you I feel like it's um, saying goodbye to an old energy, saying goodbye to an old way of doing things, saying goodbye to things that no longer serve you and saying hello to something new. Um, it's like huge, like end of cycles, um, transformation. So maybe some of you are actually getting a new job. Some of you are starting a new relationship. Start like, it just feels um, empowering this week for you, Aries. There's this feeling of um, almost I feel like some of you are just like I'm so done with that old energy I just need to there's that sun shining in that distance like I really need for this to like embody that kind of emotion or embody that energy which is sun the activations of sun are coming down as well so take advantage of that but I really feel like there's a lot of change going on around in the world so for Aries it's amazing so let's see what is going on with the minor arcanas. See what is happening for you this week. What is this change? What is this karmic ending that's coming? Because some of you, some of us have had to deal with some major karmas this lifetime. So it could have been like you had a really bad relationship and that's coming to an end. Or it could have been like you had to deal with a lot of tragedy in your life. That's coming to an end. You've had to deal, you know, it's that kind of, you know what has happened in your lifetime. All that heaviness, it feels lighter now for me. So, Aries, ooh, that was fast, Aries. <laughs> okay, you wanna come out and play? Okay, and it's not it's like your card too. Nice. Nine of Pentacles underneath financial independence 
we get the Page of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Saggi. Energy, the Page of Wands, is starting something new. Is um, going for that job that you never thought you would do. Doing that hobby and make it into like a lucrative business. It's that, it uh, doesn't have to be always business, right? So it could be just going to ask that guy or that girl out because you instead of waiting around for it, it's like that. It's like, you know what? I want to always travel to Egypt. I'm going. I just see the, the pyramids here. <laughs> or it doesn't have to be that. I want to travel across my country. Do it. It's kind of, that kind of energy. That's what it feels like. This page of wands coming in. And it's your energy. It's like, okay, it's time to fire it up, Aries. Stop like playing safe. Stop being in that comfort zone. It's time to take that risk and go forward. And look, Seven of Cups shows up. Seven of Cups energy is like this energy of having so many options. So that's what I feel like. It's like usually this is like oh, a daydreamer. He has like too many options and know what to choose. But here it's like you you have been given so many options in this lifetime. Now it's your spirit guides, your angels, whoever it is, is saying okay, it's time to choose or don't choose them all. Don't have to choose just one. Like do one at a time. So next week. Uh, go ask someone out <laughs> week like number day number two go I like this seven days so in seven days we got one day for you to be brave <laughs> do something different than you usually do it doesn't have to be like wow like so monumental it could be just like get up and clean your closet that you've been wanting to clean for the longest time the next day day three go and like garden go or go Day four, go on the mountain, go hiking. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if we do these things more and more, even if, I don't say there's no time, because you got time to do whatever it is, because it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It doesn't have to be a huge thing. It could be you just opening up a book and reading a random page. Something different out of your norm. I like it. And then we got... The Six of Wands, which is victory card, success. So it's, it almost feels like this is your new trajectory, Aries. This is what you needed to release this, this karmic debt. You needed to release this. You need to release this. You need to forgive yourself and forgive the other person and let it go from you. Because if it's harboring, it's holding you, it's holding you in this energy this old energy and these cards are saying no 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 we're we're asking you to pick up the wand and create a new reality for you because holding on to old just keeps you in this kind of low energy and it's like do the new whatever it is that incites you that inspires you that excites you because this is waiting for you at the end of the week the six of wands energy is saying, okay, yeah, you can do whatever, whatever you choose to do, whatever little thing it is, even if you just had to clean that pot that's like dirty and you have to do it, that's an accomplishment. Every little accomplishment is like worthy and rewarding at the end. But the, the bottom of the deck feels like, yes, you're going to be rewarded. Money's coming. Doesn't have to be like money, like so much, so big money. You could save money somewhere. You could, um, but it's also this feeling of she's luxuriating in her little garden. It's that feeling that you have, that you have forgotten, maybe Aries, that you are this like powerful being of light that you can do this anytime you want, instead of like succumbing to other energies that are out there like we got the queen of wands energy here who is that that's aries so like it's time to revel in your knowingness of success your knowingness of victory your knowingness that creating a new can bring something new and fresh into your life so this week i want to hear what you're doing new seven days you got now we're going to pick a little card from the divine doors it's the cutest thing in the world right so what little message do we have for our beautiful aries which door needs to be open the the, the death card is like 
when an, uh, when a door closes, a new one opens. So which door wants to open for you? Okay, we got a door. We got two doors. Two doors, one, no, one door. Okay, one door wants to open for you. Beautiful door. Look at this door. A moment's joy. Sand, the sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. Wow, that's very profound. Enjoy every single moment. Take whatever that moment is, whichever cup you choose. It, oh, I just lost the garden. <laughs> it's okay. Enjoy that moment, whichever day it is. If it's water your plants, if it's learning to do sing bowls, if it's whatever. Enjoy every moment this week, Aries. You deserve it. You're worthy. You're loved. I love you. So I will see you next week. Be good. Check out my pick a card reading. I just put one out. It's really cool. It's like a one, 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 one. It's like one day, one week, one month, one year. What's happening? I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. We got judgment in the Instagram poll. Judgment is so amazing. After all these cards that we've been getting so far, judgment is like this final wake up call. It's like, this is who you are. It's time to stop making excuses for who you are. It's time to stop like um, putting yourself down because you're not following the norm or um, you're not following the same trajectory of every single person out there. You're, you're following, you're doing something different. You're doing what, who, you're, you're your unique person. So now it's time to say, okay, accept it because who you are is coming to light right now. That's the judgment card. This is awakening, this uh, rebirth, renew. Like, is, is it really renew though? Is it really rebirth? It's really who you've always been. And now it's just emerging out of you. Now you're waking up and saying, oh my God, I've always been this, but I've always worked at this. I've always been this, but I've always hung around people like this. So it's just this really fresh, rejuvenating experience that you're going to be having. It's time to forgive yourself, it's time to forgive others, let them go, let go of the past. It's time to bring a new. We're at the, almost the end of the journey here, on the fool's journey, and now you're like ready for something new. That's something that's always meant, was always, was always meant for you. And now it's making more sense to you. Uh, judgment is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is a, a, a planet of change. It's exactly where we're here at. It's, um, it's also associated with Scorpio. Scorpio is the opposite sign of Taurus. So it's kind of working with you this week. Everything is aligning for you to uh, get ready for this change. I like it a lot. So let us see what is going on with you. I have the, major, the minor arcana and some major arcana that wasn't chosen for the 12 zodiac. We got the five of wands, which kind of makes sense. The four of swords. And the empress, which is the Taurus card. And the queen of swords, which is a Libra. So right away, I kind of I kind of make sense this five of wands for me. Because you see they're fighting. They're like, it's competition. There's, there's like a bit of a struggle because I feel like this card is creating that struggle with everyone else around you, but not you. You are coming into your own when it comes to in a relationship, when it comes in a job, when it comes in uh, friendships and family and um, anything. Like, you, like you, you may have decided I wanna travel the world and people are like, you're crazy. You're like so old or you're this or that. And then you're like, I don't care. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm meant to do. Or I want to quit my job and volunteer. And everyone is, you know, everybody has so much to say in your life. And it's time to, and this is what it is. It's like there's resistance from everyone around you. Whether, even if you're on this journey of awakening and you're like uh, speaking your truth, there's this resistance. People are like, what are you talking about? Uh, we want to be in our comfortable box. But here you are, Taurus. 
you're trying to come out on your own you're trying to do something different you're trying to like listen to your heart you're trying to listen to your soul and this is resistance from every single person in your life not every single person but a lot and it could be it could be also you fighting with like um systems put in place like governments or uh, law or politics or whatever or it could be you fighting against educational systems you know like um, everything that is impeding you from waking up into your oneness into your divineness And then in the middle of the week, they're asking you to take on the Four of Swords energy, which is like after all this little fighting that you've done, you're like, yeah, I need to take some time away, which is makes sense because it almost it's requiring you to um, really look in the mirror and accept yourself for whatever it is that's coming in for you and in any area of your life. Um, I feel like a lot of you are doubting your gifts are doubting your uh, powers are doubting just even yourself in a job you don't think that you're good enough or you're like stop doubting and this is the four swords coming please take the time to rest go within go into nature go get a massage go sleep take a nap throughout the day but go into your heart Go into the remembrance of you, of yourself. Take the time away from all this, the people who are not understanding you. Because it's not, this is not the energy that you need right now this week. No. And this week is going to start to get more and more chaotic in the world. I keep saying that, but I know that it is. In my world, in my timeline, it is. So, like, um, it will be revealed. And then... We end with the Empress energy. And the Empress energy is like the embodiment of Taurus. It's you. It's a Taurus Libra, which is interesting because the, the Libra here shows up again. So it's like maybe uh, maybe we need to embody some of that Libra energy as well. The Libra is all about being fair. So being fair with yourself, being fair with others, like listening to others, listening to yourself too, though. Not taking sides, but like... Um, just owning up to who you are but sitting on that throne of yours and um, luxuriating luxuriating in this knowingness of who you are in this knowingness that um, your your family your friends they will come they will see the light soon they will understand that they, they'll see you soon they'll say oh she or he or she is meant to be doing that or he or she was right to do that it's not about right or wrong but it's about you like sitting in um, complete oneness you know taking on that mother energy the mother knows when her daughter her son like how to nurture them the mother knows it's the mother instinct, divine feminine instinct. This is what's coming out here. Whether you're a man or female watching this, that instinct is something we need to listen to. That inner voice is something we need to listen to. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. The Empress energy is just like very, it's, it's not even a regal, because I, I don't even think regal is even a nice word <laughs> to me I feel it more it's like strength compassion empowering and you see how the, the week progresses it's like you had to deal with like um, people pushing back people arguing with you people not agreeing with you and then you're like no I need to go inside and listen to my heart and then you end up with as the empress and you and the queen of swords energy and, and i'm gonna show you what comes here the king of swords energy it's like aquarius libra energy it's just very like forthrightness it's very uh, strength in who you are these people these this couple does not waver does not um 
not believe in themselves. They just continue like she's with their with their sort of truth. They speak their truth. They continue along the path of justice, of knowing. And I just want to show you this because boom, it's the four of wands, <laughs> which is celebration, happiness, could be a wedding, but it feels to me like whatever here, whatever you are waking up to, whatever gift it is, whatever uh, just idea or thought or thing like feeling inside you or knowingness it it's your right path it feels really right to me so listen to that inner voice listen to your higher self listen to that do not listen to this do not pay attention too much don't put your energy there that's what it is listen to you your energy and embody you the empress energy all right one last little message for you from this cute little deck I got with divine doors. <laughs> Which door? Oh, the door wanted to open really fast for you. <laughs> wow, man. We got oh, beautiful door. Draw down the moon. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, sing soft songs, find us in the wild. Good night. I like that. I mean, beautiful. We just came off a really powerful full moon, a super moon. Um, and this is like dancing with the fairies, which feels really good. Like, it feels celebratory. Even the doors are saying it. You're opening your up, up yourself to um, new light, new illumination something's coming your way listen to that Taurus it's gonna be great all right I love you and I will see you next week and please do check my pick of cards also like comment subscribe thank you bye hello my beautiful Gemini so this week we got justice I feel like we got this something like this last week or two weeks ago but Justice to me speaks of, it's a Libra card. It also speaks to me of justice, like something to do with legalities, um, divorce, separation, uh, new business contract, um, lease agreements, you know, July's coming up, makes sense. Um, just something to do with uh, police, maybe speeding tickets, <laughs> it could have to do anything. It could be like uh, like um, alimonies, like all this. So, um, when the justice arrives as the only card, I always, without a card next to them, I, I it really tells me that it's like, okay, Gemini, it's time to take responsibility for your decisions when it comes to legal affairs, when it comes to uh, balance of relationship of whatever it is that you need balance in your life maybe you need balance of um, with friends maybe it's not it's not it's not working out for you and you're not sure about it maybe it's with like love in your life or um, maybe you're giving too much money to someone you're not receiving it back but it's finding that balance but it's you taking on that responsibility of it not like blaming other people not uh, saying oh well he or she is like no it's like you saying okay this is what I'm going to do da, 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 da. right so it's like taking making that decision this is like a it feels almost um, it feels really strong right now to me like someone out there that needs to make a decision and it's like this is your this is it this is the message <laughs> so from spirit or the guy your guides also could be Libra in your chart or Libra around you then that is helping you with this decision to be made. But with the red, like the red feels very fiery and passionate. It almost feels like there's a, a hurry, like a rush that you really actually need to make a kind of a decision. Could be a truth to coming out that you need to uh, 
open up to or um, pay attention to that's coming your way. But let's see what's going on. Gemini. Not the easiest cards to uh, but alas. giving and receiving so it's almost like here again the giving of money receiving of money the giving of your time the taking you know so there's this exchange going on here when it comes to justice the first card we get is the four of swords Taurus just got that the Emperor card and the Knight of Cups an interesting reading so the four of swords right away says to me like um you're having a hard time making a decision when it comes to whatever it is like it doesn't always have to be legal because of justice but it also has to do with truth and also has to do with something that's weighing uh, heavy on your heart heavy on your mind gemini is an air sign so very heavy like um why did i say gemini because you're Gemini. Libra is a Libra is a um, is also is also an air sign. But so it's like uh, you're struggling. That's what I feel very much. And the four swords coming out saying, okay, Gemini, you need to take a step back this week because I think you're getting uh, you're meddling too much into maybe what what other people's are people's people are telling you or giving you advice or this and you're going to look for advice everywhere else but you're not really listening to you you need to listen to you that is the message coming out here because the emperor shows up which is like this aries but it's also very like authoritative with the justice it feels like maybe you're being um, I don't want to say you're being forced into making a decision but you feel like you have your hands tied and this this Emperor comes in and says well you have to make a decision and you have to do it now kind of thing that's how I feel this coming is here there's someone that around you that is um, again I don't want to say it's like not everybody but manipulating you into making this decision with this emperor, like um, coercing you kind of thing, like very being very um, forthright, but in a very, uh, not a very positive way. I don't feel good about this emperor, to tell you the truth. So I don't know what it is the decision is. It could be your father, it could be um, uh, your husband, your um, partner, could be, um, a boss so some things just like it could also be a boss like or like a, a colleague of yours or someone that's around you that's like forcing you to rushing you to make a decision and you're like no I just gotta take this time I gotta take this time for myself right I gotta take some time off for me because the knight of cups shows up the knight of cups is um you know, someone to come in and to give you love, like show you love, like profess love to you. And I feel like some of you may not see this, may not even be open to this coming in towards you because you're too um, confused about this decision that you're making. You're afraid to make this decision. You're being influenced by... Um, other people, judges, uh, lawyers, notaries, uh, like I said, other people in your life around you that are um, have some, some kind of control over you. 
and it's not feeling good so and it's like you're 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 giving up you might be giving away your chance of love of true love you might be giving your chance you might be giving up on it doesn't have to be always love knight of cups but it feels like this like something promising that wants to come your way and you're not seeing it because you're too meddled in this and the justice like i said at the very beginning i don't know if i said it in this one but in the instagram i said it's all about karmic debt but us releasing so here you're needing to release yourself from this karmic um this karma this lesson so it came into your lifetime and you're needing to say goodbye to it and open and, and find that way to open that door to love because love is there or, or the new opportunity is there or a new job that you always wanted is there like there's something there it's always there because he's going this way in the in the car the way it is right he this is you trying needing to take time away step back and look at things and this is someone here forcing something on you and then here love is going this way is moving away from you instead of coming to you because you're not able to make this decision or you're not you're not believing in yourself but it's there it's there if you want it it's it's all depend it is you taking responsibility for this decision? Wow, Jemmy, 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 and we have that six of Pentacles, which is like maybe you're you're in this legal situation, or maybe you're in a partnership or something, and you have to make a decision because there's money involved, and you're like, do I just give in because it's money, and I lose out on this love that like my my twin flame or my soulmate that's waiting around or my new job opportunity or my opportunity to travel because I'm just like holding on to like money I'm keeping my money instead of like taking that risk right because the page of swords shows up at the bottom time to take that risk time to jump in time to say the truth time like the swords energy which is your energy it's your Gemini Libra Aquarius energy then we've got the nine of cups underneath saying hey you want to th this is happiness is fulfillment you want that it's time to make a decision so there's something weighing on you gemini and i think that um the time is now <laughs> this week because you got like a lot of things you're you're closing in your boundaries you're closing that up and you're not allowing something good to come in because you haven't made um that final decision for yourself so I'm gonna open a door a, a divine doors uh, message it's got this cute little thing in what door wants to open for Gemini please pretty door looks like Europe you have to go to Europe it's like this okay sorry okay nice the Odyssey Greece take in the beauty of country lands and bot botany explore the wonder like a gypsy travelers Odyssey interesting this could be that's what it, like open that door open that door to that new opportunity waiting for you open that door to travel open to the door whatever it is that you're like closing that door on it's time to be true to who you are all right Gemini this was a really good reading uh, for some of you I'm sure it's not for every single person of you but I feel like I felt it very strongly for some of you out there that you're needing to um, get clear make that decision and something new coming in because of it your karmic lesson will be put to bed and you'll be open to something new. All right. I love you, Gemini. Check out my pick a card readings. Of course, like I always, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you.
Hello, my beautiful Cancer. And we got High Priestess, <laughs> our beautiful Divine Feminine. I love her. It's like listening. You're, some of you are not listening to your inner voice. Some of you are not listening to your intuition. Some of you just going with the flow of life out around you. It's really not really paying attention to something, your, your higher self or something's coming up and you're just like, boop, nope. I'm going to live just like this like boring life. That's not nice. This routine life. The high priestess coming in and say, yo, you, there's so much more potential. You have so much expression inside you that needs to come out. You have to stop like doing things for other people. To stop doing, start doing things for you. Like listen to you. Doesn't matter what other, others say around you. Just do what flows for you. We are entering a divine feminine era. It's time to embody this high priestess energy. Listening to your higher self doesn't, it, it, it used to take more work, but now we are entering into new activations. We are getting really close to our higher selves. We understand, we hear them, her or him or whatever. It's that, it's that answer that's a yes, no, a very clear cut answer. It's not the answer that is like all over the place in survival mode. Pay attention to that. So let's look what's going on for you. Ace of Swords. Page of Cups. <laughs> that's like, oh, that's loud, eh? This table. All right. So, Cancer. Happy birthday. What have you been doing for your birthday? I hope you've been enjoying your birthday month. You're so lucky to have like a summer month. You're almost guaranteed weather. Okay, these cards are something else. Okay. <laughs> All right. Page of Wands underneath. So new beginnings, new romance, new something coming in, new creative expression, new ideas. Aries, uh, Leo, Saggy could be fire signs coming in. We got the Nine of Wands, which is Saggy. Interesting. Then we got the Page of Swords. Did we see the Page of Swords before? Wow. And we got the Queen of Cups. Oh, we saw the Ace of Swords before. So, lots of page energy. So there could be, if you're a parent out there, could be your children that are um, wanting to get closer with you, wanting to speak to you, wanting to start something with you. Um, just feels like um, maybe you were estranged for a while and then you're going to get back together. The Queen of Cups comes in. Who is the Queen of Cups? But you are. So that's awesome when you see your own card come in. The Nine of Wands energy is this energy. Look at him. He's like looking the other way. He's holding on to his wand. He's still unsure of like eight of wands, like the six of wands is a victory card. It's all like he's been victorious, but he's still not sure. He doesn't really 100% believe in himself. He doesn't. So I feel like some of you out there are um, needing that little push, that little motivation to tell you, yes, you are an amazing whatever it is that you do. You're feeling a bit, um, you could be feeling a bit sad because of what's going on in this world. You could be feeling a bit uh, like unmotivated because of that, sorry. But the Nine of Wands is this energy of, it's a Sagittarius energy, it's like a, outward going very take a risk kind of energy it's like it's almost asking you okay it's okay to hold on to that wand but let's make that wand into something that's going to manifest like an amazing reality for you what is it that you want cancer do you want to build a new dream what is it your dreams what have you always wanted you've always dreamt about do that stop being so in a box 
start getting out there and doing whatever it is you want. You want it to, you want to paint uh, the side of your house, go paint it. I mean paint, like creative paint. Or like, uh, I just feel like a lot of these cards this week is asking you guys to come out of this little cocoon that you're in. And this page of swords is saying that. It's like, it's time to step anew, do something new. Like, um, if you're in communications, if you're a writer, then do something in writing, publish that book, uh, publish that book of paints or designs that you have, paintings that you have, or it's this feeling of uh, gathering your uh, skills and doing something with it. Some of you could be like um, marketers or social media people that need to market your stuff, promote your stuff, maybe you're having a hard time, maybe you need to create a website for whatever it is that you need to do. There's just this feeling of you holding back and procrastinating and not um, believing in whatever it is that you're doing in your life. And it's like, okay, so now you have that wand in your hand, you have that wand in your hand. So can we take that wand and build on that. I, could, I feel like some of you could be graphic artists, um, and you, 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 I think you started even something, and, and you just like held back, you're holding back, you're not giving it your all. And that's what I feel here, like it doesn't have to be only graphic artists, it could be anything, like uh, media, I just say medium because page of swords that's how I always feel that energy is but it could be anything in your life you've started a course and you stopped it because you you're bored or you didn't believe it but it's like this is the end of your karmic lesson now we're moving into something new so uh if you had thought about doing that course that was your higher self saying do that course and then you stop it because you're afraid or you stopped it because of like doubts are coming in your mind you stop it you know all these things that, that always come into our minds all the time it's like like Put away those doubts. Put them to bed. Good night, I never want to see you again kind of thing. And like start again. That's what I'm feeling here. Start fresh, start new. You got two pages here coming in asking you to start something new. It doesn't have to be completely new. It could be something that you put to bed, something that you uh, were afraid to do, something that you were um, don't think you're good enough to do. But now they're saying, okay, pick up the wand, pick up the sword, let's do this. And your card comes in and says, yes, listen to yourself, Cancer. I was going to say Scorpio. Interesting. Listen to yourself. There could be a Scorpio around you this week. Um, you are the queen. You are the healer. You are that spiritual being. You are in the know. You have a handle, usually, on your emotions. Sometimes you don't, because we know that you're super emotional, but it's almost asking you to take that risk. It's all about you believing in yourself. You're not, I, I really feel like a lot of you are, don't, don't believe in you. Why is it that? Why is it that you don't believe in you? And, and like the more I look at cards, the more I feel like it's like some of you may, maybe have uh, like parents or friends that are not very supportive of what you're doing. Or they just think it's like a like a fantasy thing. But it's time to start listening to you. It's time to, to, to embrace this high priestess. Because underneath the page of wands, we get the star, which is Aquarius. Could be someone in your life. But it also could be in your charts. Or it could just be you saying, okay, F it. I am that rebel. I'm going to make my hopes and dreams come true regardless of what everyone else thinks around me because it's not important what's important is you and i think that you can do it i really do remember this card this whole week all right so i'm going to show you a little message from this beautiful divine doors which door wants to open for cancer this week please which door wants to open for cancer Oh, all the doors. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, which door wants to open for Ken? Okay. Look at this door. The sun going through. A cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Wow. Choose boldly, my beautiful. Choose for you. Choose what you want to do, not what everybody else wants. I feel really good about this. Listen and, and look back at all the courses, all the inspirations, all the ideas that logged in your journal. Something is going to come for you. All right, my beautiful Kansa, I will see you next week. Please check out my newest pick a card reading and also like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Leo. Look what we got, the moon card. I always, I didn't say this in the Instagram poll, but I like it here because I, you're the sun card. So I feel like the moon is your like counterpart. It's like you work together when it's eclipse season. You're like, you're always working together. So I feel like this is a, um, a nudge from the moon saying, I got your back, <laughs> Leo. But also the moon is here to say that some of you I feel like are um, hiding something. You're hiding from a truth. You're hiding from yourselves. You're not speaking your truth the way you should be or could be. You're not, um, you're not saying something to someone or there could be someone around you taking advantage of you that feel like lying to you. So it's just, um, it could be a, like, a, like the moon is like a volatile uh, um, situation almost, like your emotions will be high, they will be low this week. So just take care of yourself this week, maybe um, go within, do some um, inner work this week because um, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it, I really do. I feel like you need to sort out some things in your mind, like get illuminated, like um, maybe there's something that's weighing you down. Last week you were full peacock, uh, like shining, and maybe this week there's some people around you that are jealous of you, or some people around that don't want the best from you, and you need to stay away from that kind of energy. You need to keep that peacock energy from last week. So, um, yeah, this is like a divine feminine energy, which we're entering into this kind of energy as well. Could be empowering for many. Um, maybe there's like, it, it could be shining a light on something that is in your life that you don't, that you're trying to hold back or trying to like uh, hide. That's what I feel here. Maybe some of you are, um, you're in, in, you're in the midst of your like, okay, I'm going to go and party and have fun. You're kind of tucking away something and this is shining it. It's like, no, no, we got to deal with this, Leo, not like tuck it away kind of thing. So that could be that. Anyways, let's see what's going on. And the fact that it's here, and I, I explained at the beginning, is that this is a, um, for me, it's like one of your karmic lessons coming to a head. It's like you're forgiving yourself, releasing it, letting it go kind of thing. So whatever that is that you feel it's um, weighing you down, this could be the moon thing, someone around you not telling you the truth, someone around you that lied to you, someone around you that, um, someone that's female maybe that did this for to you, doesn't have to be, you know, a female, but um, something to pay attention to. So let's see what's going on here. Could also be a Pisces or a Cancer in your life. I saw you wanting to come out. So the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. So four of Swords. I'm not joking with you. I think. Every single person got this, <laughs> I'm telling you. The Five of Swords and the Magician. Wow, man. 
the five of swords energy is like that it's someone around you that is hate to say but it's being deceitful like if you see his face he's like <laughs> you think he or she thinks that they're being like smart by taking something from you by um, causing you pain by causing you uh, anger or fear it could be the government hmm, could be that could be what's going on in this world as well this could be that energy as well and you're like I'm done with that kind of energy. I don't want it. You don't, you, you don't, um, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve taking in that kind of energy. That's not who I am. And it's interesting because the Four of Swords was the first card to show up and that's like this energy of like, taking those three steps back, taking that time out, take the time out that you need it. Because the moon energy is here, it tells me that there will be an unbalance of emotions. There will be some highs and lows this week. And maybe you don't want to be dealing with that, right? So maybe you want to be like um, kind of tucked away and figuring out your own shadow self issues or figuring out your own um, how to deal with this. Because if this is going to come in this week, it might um, take you off balance and um which is okay because you're strong and you're leo but sometimes we just don't have to always have to be dealing with this and but the magician comes in and the magician was was reversed when it showed up here so to me it feels like there's someone around you that is manipulating you so be careful about that because the magician like could sh it has a beautiful facade but in the underlying he could be or he or she could be taking advantage of a situation could be stealing from you could be that there's just this feeling here obviously not every single Leo out there is this happening but I'm feeling that there is someone around you that you need to keep your eye on that and as soon as you feel like that gut instinct you feel like oh no listen to it this week but the magician also could be like you saying okay I know that this might happen this week, but I have the wand in my hand and I have the power to create whatever it is I want. So you want to manifest greatness in your life this week, then choose that, this kind of empowerment, right? He is uh, ruled by Mercury. Mercury just went back into direct, but it's still in shadow until July 4th, I believe. So still there's that like wonkiness that might happen so that's why i'm saying this week leo i wish you to this is a, could be a gemini in your life as well but um just take it easy this week um because if there is someone out there that is wanting to put a like a crook in your wheel or wanting to uh um veer you off the wrong path or you know they just feel like there's this energy here that's not wanting the best for you it could be someone doing it unconsciously but you need to be on your toes wow the devil right the devil comes in it's that energy the capricorn energy it's this energy we just did the full moon in capricorn we're still in that kind of energy it's that like control energy so uh like i'm saying to you Find a find like this is the seven of pentacles. It's this energy of I've I've started I you started creating something new, a new life for yourself, but it's not gonna take uh, a week for it to like bloom. It's gonna take the time. So be patient. Don't worry, your life will get back up there. Just in this moment, in this week that's happening, could be this week, could be next week, whatever, but always just pay attention to those around you that you feel that there's something that's not working. But you got that magician. So the magician came in to help you here, saying, okay, it's up to you, Leo, to make that decision. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna sit in that negativity and that low vibe energy and that fear and that guilt and all that? Or do you wanna take the wand in your hand and create a new reality for yourself? Do you want to, um, Create love, compassion, happiness, joy, 
peace, freedom, sovereignty. You know, we can go on and on. This is your choice, Leo, to do this. Or you can choose to stay in this. I don't think he would choose to stay in that because that's not who you are. So, <laughs> it's just interesting energy, this, the Five of Swords energy. It could be you self-sabotaging as well. It could be you, like, putting in all the, uh, making, like, diving deep into that fear and diving deep into that guilt. So be beware. It could be coming from an, uh, an external influence, but it could be also an inner thing. Remember the magician. So I got these beautiful divine doors, little cards. Which door wants to open for Leo this week? Okay. Three-eyed raven. As sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected. <laughs> I like it. Whatever could that be? Well, prepare for the unexpected. The magician might show up and offer you something, maybe. I like it. Prepare for the unexpected as, as well. It's like, it's like this. Nothing is as it seems. So beware of the good and the bad that's coming in your way. You know, I, I didn't go really into specifics, but it could be like a job, someone that wanted to take away a, a, your position from you, a colleague. It could be like travel plans that have been disrupted. It could be a love relationship, someone that's like you've broken up with and it's just not working out or someone in your love relationship stealing from, you know, it could be a whole bunch of things, but, um, Feel good for you though so don't worry you got this all right leo so check out my i'll see you next week check out my pick a card readings and also like comment subscribe i appreciate you i love you and i'll see you next week bye hello my beautiful virgo so we got strength card the strength is a leo card it's all about courage bravery it's all about uh finding that inner strength inside you so when you see a strength card and it's alone, you think, okay, some of you maybe are needing this message. Maybe some of you are having a hard time making a decision in your life. Maybe some of you are having a hard time um, dealing with uh, people in your life, like, uh, the emotions of other people, like decision, other de decisions that other people are making. You're having a hard time dealing with it and you're like, I need to find that strength and the, this is your message this week. It's like, we're giving you the strength to go through this, to help you along in this decision making. Maybe um, the, the strength card could also have be a bit laced with ego because it's a Leo card. So beware of your ego when you're making decisions. Are you making decisions for yourself? Or are you making decisions for other people in your life? But it, I know it just feels really good. Like there's, um, you're going to get a little bit of a shot of strength this week, so that's good. It could also be you have a Leo in your life or you have a Leo in your sign, so that may, could be of interest to you, significant to you. Um, the Leo is all about uh, enjoying their lives to the nth degree, especially the summertime here. So maybe that's a little message to, as well Virgo <laughs> like go out and enjoy your life but I'm feeling a lot that there's something happened in some of your um, lives maybe not this past week but past month or year or something and it's requiring you to go inside and um, bring like re-emerge that kind of strength inside you to overcome this whatever it is all right so give Virgo, please, for the week of the 28th. Six of Wands is a victory card. The 
Six of Swords, again, Swords energy here. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we got almost all the things. We got Swords, Wands, Pentacles, Wands. So, um, let me look at this here because I see the Ten of Swords here and your card shows up. The Six of Wands. Because, because the Six of Swords shows up next to the Six of Wands, it makes me think, ask why. Because the Six of um, Wands is like success. Something that you work really hard at, something like a job, like a relationship or whatever. Something you've done, like a personal journey of yours. It's like feels very victorious. It feels like you're on the right path. You've done, you're going to be recognized. You're going to be validated. You're going to be rewarded and yet you are on the, we're here and you're hopping on a boat and you're leaving you're wanting to um, it's almost like you're not even interested in that uh, recognition like you don't deserve it usually the six of swords feels like you're gonna travel you're gonna uh, go but here she's she's hunched hunched over In this card, I'm not feeling like, or in this, right at this moment, I'm feeling like some of you are um, moving or um, leaving, a tr traveling, going somewhere else in another country, another city, and somewhere else, but not because you want to. But then the Queen of Pentacles shows up, which is someone who's really un understanding, very entrepreneurship, very understanding of her money, very um, grounded. And then I look at the bottom here, and it's like a Ten of Swords energy. So it's a very interesting energy happening here. It's like there's this feeling of um, some of you... Um, picking up and making a decision that's right for you but may not be right for everyone else but you're still standing on that decision you're still like I don't know I know but I just like there, I, I, there's a lot of scenarios here You're being stubborn about this decision. You're going to, but yet it feels like there's, um, it may not be the best decision for everyone else around you, but you're being stubborn. Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo. <laughs> but I can look at it a different way. If I look at it different ways, like you're, um, this decision that you're made, you're used to you're used to it being you you're used to success in your life. You're always used to like things working out for you. So you're willing to take that step even though maybe you're getting a little bit of a pushback and you're willing to just move forward, move into that new home, move on to like a move away from your current life, go traveling. It just feels like um, like a movement away and you're you're feeling confident about this decision and you're sitting on your laurels and you're saying I I got this I I, I believe even though it may be causing pain around you and your family and your friends your co-workers But you're like, no man, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue on this slowly and steadily. But you know, you're lucky because this shows up, the four of wands, which is victory and celebration. So <laughs> I think that you're doing something that completely um, is, taken, is taking people like, what? And you're sitting on your, you're like really, you're believing in yourself. And that's why the strength card is here for you guys. You're like, okay, keep at it, keep strong, 
even though this feeling might show up, know who you are and just continue doing that. There's a feeling of, um, there's also another feeling, I feel like there's some people here that are um, wanting to move to another country, move to another city, move to another town, somewhere, move somewhere, and it's a good idea. It feels like it's a good idea, do that. It feels right for you. It feels like you're gonna find your, uh, your, your home, where you belong. But like, I, I do feel like you're going through a little bit of this. Like some of you are feeling guilty, some of you are feeling like afraid to do that jump. Some of you are feeling, um, or other people around you are feeling a bit disappointed or depressed or something. There's this like energy here that you need to pay attention to this week. So just be aware of that the energy, or maybe there could be people around you that are like feeling that. Because Queen of Pentacles is a bit like ego, doesn't really listen to other people, even though she knows. In her heart, she knows. So, wow. And like I am, I, it's because there's so many scenarios that I could think about for this. It could be like some of you are in a really got into a relationship or in a relationship and you're moving away because of this relationship and it everything's going to be okay. And even though you're worried about it, but it still feels like um, celebration is in order. So, whatever this decision that you're having to find the strength to do. Uh, it feels like, yes, go for it, even though there might be some uh, underlying issues with others, uh, stick to your uh, gut. So I got this divine doors little thing. So which door is opening for Virgo this week? Scotland or Ireland three of cups a toast to friendship in the afternoon Sun three cups and happiness three cheers are done celebration is neat oh is near I was like is neat <laughs> celebration is near okay so look at you three of cups four of cups three of cups four of wands but all of them celebration. So whatever that decision is, needs to be made, could go with it. It feels good in the cards. All right, Virgo, I love you. And go ahead and check out my pick a card readings. I got a new one that came out, one, 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 one. And also um, like, comment, subscribe. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libra. We got the hangman. The hangman is, um, I kind of like this, uh, <laughs> this card. Hangman is, um, based on this folk, ta folklore, you know, a tale or a myth, but I don't believe in those things. I think they're real. So Odin was a traveler who was traveling through the woods and he decided to hang on this tree, this, the world tree and for nine days to gain new knowledge on the world, on himself, on his life. And if you know anything about runes, he's the one who came up with all these symbols. He got a whole bunch of downloads for those runes. So um, let's get back to Libra. <laughs> so the hangman is really good because some of you are, are maybe in this moment in your life where you're at a crossroads in your life, you're having to make a decision between in a relationship, in a job, in your personal life, in your family, in your friends, and tr do I go traveling this year? Do I not go traveling? Do I buy this singing bowl or not? Do I like go like take this course? Don't I take? The, you know, it's this feeling of that. There's like, um, do I uh, uh, take on this client? Do I not? You know, or anything that's in your life. You're, um, but it's been like 
weighing on you kind of and here it's coming in saying this is and this is your karmic lessons coming to an end so maybe you do too much of that libra it's like do i do it no nah, no nah. you know you're kind of like that you're like the balance right scales of justice you're like these like oh, i'm not sure you're never sure about what to take and maybe it's like okay this time we are coming to a head we're going to make decisions and maybe we can put that aside put it to bed and get be more decisive in our lives can we do that Libra? Mm, i don't know but um i don't know so you know best what is going on in your life but let's see in the cards what it is all right so libra please for this last week of june for you two of cups love the world wow man and these two came up i'm gonna keep them the three of cups and the king of pentacles taurus okay libra so definitely love travel um could be business related. Oh God, it's everything here, everything, every situation, area of life has shown up. Two of Cups energy is soulmate energy, twin flame energy. It could be like a doesn't have to be a man woman. By the way, it could be anything. It could be friends coming in together too that are twin flames. So there's this like you're feeling very strong feelings for somebody, and you're not sure if this maybe should I like continue with this should I not and it's like feels really good to me <laughs> I don't know what the situation is but there's like if we just take apart the cards and the world card is a travel card so maybe you're making a decision should I go there should I not go there should I it feels really good too world is like go for it what do you have to lose just do it um it's like you're at the end of your journey, which is interesting, right? You're at the end of the journey, and now you're deciding to take a step back oops, and um, look at your life and say, okay, have I traveled enough? Do I want to travel more? Have I met my, my love? Or is there someone else waiting out for me? Like it's all this like questioning of who you are. You know, there's this uh, socializing are you socializing enough? Do you need to socialize more? Do you need to uh, go out more? This is what this feeling is about. Do you need to uh, reach out to your soul tribe? Do you need to more gatherings of people? Business, same idea. Like, are you uh, wanting to expand your business? Are you wanting to just stay like this, small? Do you want to promote your business? Do you want to market it? Do you want to get into a partnership with somebody else? It's just, wow, like, <laughs> I can't, it's like, it's, they, they all came out. But they all feel very positive. But you know what, it, it also feels to me, these cards here, with this hangman as your, like, major lesson, your overall energy card, is that uh, too many times you found yourself at this, this crossroads when it had to come to business, when it had to come to social life, when it came to traveling or starting something new or relationships that you always find yourself, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, wavering on your commitment, wavering on your, uh, or, or like effing it up because you don't make that decision. And this is what, you, this is, card is here to say, okay, Libra, next time you find yourself in that situation we need you not to be um we need you to be clear-headed because he that's why he hung in this tree is to become more clear to look at things like objectively not so emotionally not so like libra you're like mental energy you fog yourself you weigh yourself down with so much ifs and woulds could shoulds instead of just saying going with the higher self and saying yes 
Yes, I'm going to jump into this relationship. Yes. Uh, I really like her. She's a really, uh, I feel really like close to her, like as a friend. Should I continue like talking to her? Yes. Like that, that's a, that feeling, right? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I should travel because of the restrictions or whatever. I don't feel comfortable about it. So go on a road trip. Like do something that you can do, but go out there. Do something. Be adventurous. Stop thinking, 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 thinking. That's what I'm feeling here. Go out and go out and um, celebrate your life. Stop staying inside. It also feels like there could be a wedding. Look at these cards. Oh my God. <laughs> Definitely. Some of you might be getting married. Some of you are indecisive if you want to get married or not. I think it's like, a, yeah, go for it. What do you got to lose? Enjoy it. Go on this honeymoon. Celebrate your life. Celebrate your partnership. Maybe you're already in a relationship. So have a second honeymoon. Renew your vows. If you're single, then like go out, flirt with everyone. It just feels so um, liberating. Maybe you'll meet a Taurus. Or maybe you're, it'll be your boss or someone that you work with or someone that is uh, loaded. <laughs> or, I mean, there's a lot of interesting, there's King of Swords that shows up at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of uh, male energy. Uh, very, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Very like straightforward energy. Honest, reliable, both of them. They're the best ones for this in the in this whole uh, tarot deck. The King of Swords and Pentacles. You can rely on them. They're going to be honest with you. They're going. They they don't speak. They speak truth at all times. So maybe you have to decide between one and two. Why can't you have both? I'm kidding. <laughs> Do you right? So like <laughs> so. Um, I really like this energy for you guys. This is like an amazing reading. You have a lot of, uh, you have an Aquarius Taurus coming in, an Aquarius no bullshit, super um, risk taker. The King of Pentacles, not much of a risk taker, but he is very um, confident. He has that knowingness. It's almost like embody this. We need you to embody this kind of energy. So when it comes time to making a decision, when it comes to your life, when it comes to your uh, an, an opportunity it could be an expansion like if someone wants to invest money into your business king of pentacles here or invest money in you and you're like mm -hmm, but just do it like there's definitely love coming in for some of you and it could be your twin flame because twin flames are showing up now not more and more in these lifetime and uh, pay attention twin flames look like you kind of resemble you <laughs> Yeah, just two of cups, three of cups. It's just like this, it's fluid moving. So let us see what is going on. Which door it needs to open for you. And you know, it's like um, there is this, the hangman is here to stay to take a step back. And I, I don't have a problem with you. Take, obviously, uh, you can do whatever you want, but you, there's no problem with you taking this step back. But it's like more like getting clear and like going in your inner. Um, like he got downloads, right? He got like he listened to his higher self. So this is what they're asking you: it's time to listen to your higher self. When that love comes in, you say yes, no, okay, next. Travel, yes, like do that, do that at home. Say all the things that you want to do in your life and then see what the answer is and go with that answer. So we got this beautiful, this is in Kyoto, Japan. I went there, I think it's Fuji. I'm not, I don't know, 100%, but I don't remember. Um, silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace so soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubts. Perfectos. Let go of doubt and just do things. I love it. 
all right, Libra, this was really great. Like, I feel like there's like greatness coming towards you this week and all through the summer. All this cups energy here. Um, pay attention to like people that come into your life that are very forthright. They have probably something to tell you, like, like some good advice that's coming your way. So um, you can you can you can do this hangman thing, but also just be clear about things. All right, I love you, Libra, and I will see you next week. Also, check out my pick apart card readings and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I love you. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. We got the fool. I love this card for you. It's amazing. It's like about effing time we got this for you. This is like you saying, having like dealt with so much heaviness in your past. It's you saying, okay, I'm saying goodbye to the old and sauntering off into the new energy. This is like take that risk, leap, Whatever it is that's holding you down, it's time to step away from it and just move into a new energy because you deserve it, because you are worthy. Because it's your time to do this. This is Uranus, it's Aquarius. Aquarius doesn't care. I mean, they care about people, obviously, but they're very much, very smart, and very clever, and they know when it's right to jump. And this is the card that's telling you it's time. Whatever it is that's going on in your life, we know that we've been together for a while now and we know that there's like issues in your relationship or there's issues in, in like a job that you don't like or there's issues with people in your, in your life that you're having to like uh, uh, maneuver, uh, navigate around. And here it's like, it's time to take that road. Less travel, but all for you. So let's see what's going on for you, my beautiful Scorpios. I love that this card came out for you. So, Scorpio, please, for this um, week of June 28th. I just can't believe these days. Right? Life is going so fast. For me, it is, anyways. So, we got the Six of Cups underneath. Which if is you, Scorpio energy. Six of Cups is like the past. I'm curious to see what these cards are saying. The Chariot card, which is Cancer. The Four of Cups. And the Two of Swords. All right, so the Cancer, the Chariot card feels like two things to me. The cancer card, uh, the cancer, the chariot card could be um, like disruption at home or you moving to a new home, changing home, like taking a risk and leaving your home, whether it's like you're single and you need to move into a new apartment or a new home or house, or it's you're with a, in a relationship and you're needing to leave it and go into something new. That is this feeling here. But you taking that stand, you see how confident he is? Because the can the chariot card is also like an ego card. It's like actually like embody that ego inside you. And sometimes we have to bring that ego back so that you can like cut out that clutter. So, but then you get the four cups and you're like, okay, I made this decision. I took the leap. I'm going full four forward ahead I feel like successful I feel like I'm on top of the game and then we get the four cups which you, and you retreat in the middle of the week you're like oh man did I make the right decision I'm not sure anymore let me sit by the tree maybe I should go back it's just like this um, mm, mm, mm. and then divine like the angels the guides creator is like giving you this cup and saying you know you made the right decision just continue with that why are you wavering again now you're like now you've put another situation in your mind and you're like oh no but maybe 
I need to stay or maybe I need to stay at this job I hate or maybe I need to um, still be friends with this person even though they condescend to me all the time or maybe I need to um, stay in this relationship even though it's not working out or I need to stay in this house even though there's like cockroaches everywhere I'm just giving you like things like this but it's all that like you're oh, this is what this is it's this not this six of cups is this is because you know you know this because you're comfortable with this and that's why it's so hard for you to make this change Scorpio you're like well I have a life with this person or I have I've lived here for 30 years or I've uh, I've been friends with this person for 10 years or you know it's like this like um, I'm used to it kind of thing the nine of swords shows up and you're back at like I feel like you're 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 there you're there to make that leap and every time you make that leap you fall forward you fall backwards a few steps because you're like your mind comes into play and actually your ego comes into play at this moment in time and says well maybe you're not ready maybe why would you want to go there why would you want to step into that why would like it's that fear that that flight or what is it called fight or flight kind of mode but I'm gonna show you this because look who's here nine of cups this shows up for you I can go I'm gonna go through this whole thing because the next card is amazing nine of cups shows up and says stick to this stick to your gut when you took that leap off the rock you believed in yourself Try to step away from all this like wavering, all this doubt because of uh, you um, being comfortable with it. Because happiness is lying here for you, is waiting for you. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. New beginnings could feel uncomfortable sometimes, definitely. But here it's saying, and you're going to. I think you've gone through this though enough right this like I'm not sure I'm not sure what do I do what do I do kind of mode and here you're getting this chance it's like take the chance move go forward like the chariot like the gladiator he goes he goes steaming ahead not looking back going forward because this is what's waiting for you. It's kind of nice, Scorpio. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Don't doubt yourself. Scorpio, you got this, you got this. Come on, leap, leap. I'm gonna show you a, a door. What door is gonna open for you for um, this last week of June? I'm feeling like very, um, you're going to not regret this. I think this is like, this is it. You're leaving behind the karma, right? You're leaving behind that karma of like holding on to your past and holding, holding on. And it's like creating something new in your life. So what did we get? What a beautiful door. Morning memory. It's healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn our inspired source meditate under the sun if you meditate go for it even if you don't just sit under the sun eyes closed think about that whole fool card and then nine of cups and then you ace of wands like saying it's time to start something new i kind of like this for you scorpio it's kind of nice all right i love you take that leap it's part of your karma. This is it. You're supposed to put the other ones to bed. Um, all right. So check out my pick a card readings. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I love you. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Look what we got here. We got lovers. <laughs> lovers is a Gemini card. It could be in your chart. So this is very relevant if it is. Lovers is all about new love coming in 
or if you're in a relationship and a new like avenue of love opening up for you a new opportunity of more love coming in for you hmm, I just thought of this could be like a little baby coming in for you too but this is like a self-love card very much so and it's also a choice card a choice of falling in love a choice of um, like your choice of romantic partner coming in like how do you choose to love yourself how do you choose to love other people this is the card but I like this for you because we've been on a bit of a low and now we're coming back up here Saji so what is coming in for love for you are you ready for this Maybe you've met somebody and it's like sparked something inside you. Let's see. Last week of June for my beautiful Sagis. Page of Pentacles. Like I said, there could be a little boy coming to you or a girl. <laughs> Interesting. Or a new business, new opportunity. Someone, you're going to meet someone younger. We got the Devil. The Ten of Pentacles. And again, the Page of Cups. Definitely new love. But the Devil is very interesting. So why is the Devil showing up? It's Capricorn energy. We are just coming off a of full moon in Capricorn. These people are so loud in the city. <laughs> but um, I want to show you this because if you look at the lover, these are the lovers in under the control of the devil. So some of you might be in a relationship that um, that you're not happy with. That you feel like you're being manipulated you feel like there's like um, like a helicopter control energies around you um, one of your partners may be um, lying to you one of your partners may be um, like because it's all it, the devil speaks of addictions kind of thing they could be uh, addicted to Porno, addicted to gambling, to alcohol, to drugs, kind of thing, and it's causing like a damper on the relationship. There could be some of you, the devil could also be that you're overly sexual in this, uh, this new person that comes in. It's very like intense, but it could even be a bit too intense for you. I mean, could be. But you feel almost shackled, right? You feel as the, because you have the lover here, and that's why I'm saying, so if the lover showed up and this shows up and you're shackled to each other, it feels, I think some of you might be feeling a bit um, overwhelmed or underwhelmed in this relationship that you're in. And the ones that a new relationship is coming in, it's like, uh, it might be really good in bed. Awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> but be, be aware that, that, if that if that's what you're looking for, then it's fine. But if it's not, if you're looking for more than that, so just be aware of that because that energy might be very more highly sexual than you may have. You, you, I mean, you could want that, but maybe you want more love and maybe I don't feel that. But then again, as we go in, I just, I actually feel like there's some of you out there that is dealing with someone at this very moment that has, um, that's not being truthful to you, lying to you, something. But the devil energy feels also, like I say, it always feels like this world. So, um... The, this world could be uh, in the way of you meeting your twin flame very much so with all these restrictions even though there's a, a lot being let up all over the world it's still not everywhere in the world there's a lot of us still in um, sort of restrictive right 
So I feel that that could be an issue. It could be that your partner has made a decision that is not like yours and uh, it's causing a riff in the relationship. It could be that. There's a lot of um, almost feels uncomfortable to me. But you know, like the lovers is a self-care and a self-love card. And here the devil, when it shows up, I feel like some of you don't even, um, you might even feel guilty of, of uh, taking care of yourself, going to the spa, going to the do facials, massage every week. I almost feel like some of you are like, uh, don't really tell everybody because you don't feel like, you feel like people are going to judge you. But just do it. <laughs> right because then you get the ten of pentacles which is really kind of nice it's ten of pentacles like money and abundance coming your way and then you get this page of cups with this new love coming your way so it almost feels like not like everybody's different right I'm not gonna be touching on every Sagittarius out there but uh, that's why I always say go to your rising and your moon signs as well but this devil energy feels like it's like a thing of the past. Like you're almost needing to, if you're in a relationship that's like, that you're not comfortable with, or you're not, it's not like bringing out the best in you, that's uh, like you're feeling shackled, you're feeling like stuck in this, you're stuck in this for some reason, it's like goodbye. That's a kind of that feeling I'm having here. And it's like um, free, and it, it'll free you, um, financially it'll free you like you'll feel more abundant uh, but full of love and like family coming together and it'll even open you up to a new love someone maybe younger than you but doesn't have to be but also it'll open you up like I feel like some of you Sagis are like this is that energy that I've been feeling with you for a, a while now and it shows up again so some of you are holding on to something that's not worthy or so you're holding on to something that why are you holding on if it doesn't make you happy kind of thing and um, there's something that's keeping you down from this so you're choosing to stay with this like it could be a job like you can't stand and you're, you're like you feel like you're tied to it because you need to make money but you can go get another job like let's be real right there's tons of jobs out there and you're very creative souls you could find something that if you feel like this in your job, then I, the tower, is saying, get out of that. <laughs> Go, because this is waiting for you. Like uh, money, financial freedom, abundance, and like uh, new opportunities, expansion, expansiveness. And this, like Beige of Cups, is new love, new relationships, new friendships, new soul tribe. It's, like, it's very expansive, and here it feels restricted. So there's something here that's holding you back. I don't know. Time to go. <laughs> and here the Page of Pentacles is new business opportunity, new uh, new path that you need to take. When it comes to money, there's like people here that may be holding you back, stealing from you, taking money from you, new. Holding you back from a new path, a new choice. Like that's why this choice of love is here. You're needing to make a choice here. Queen of Wands energy, like it's an Aries energy. Like Queen of Wands is like she knows what she wants. She's super confident. She gets on. She sits on that throne with that black cat in front of her and says, "I know what I need to do in my life. I don't need to hold on to this energy. Why am I holding on to the devil energy? Why am I choosing to stay in this relationship? It's not making me happy. Why am I choosing to stay at this job? Why am I choosing to stay with these friends that are not aligned with me?" Why am I choosing to listen to the government? We have more power over the government by people. We the people. This is the feeling. <laughs> it's time to create your own reality. It's time to do what you are meant to do on this planet Earth. And it's not to stay shackled in fear and guilt and depression and all this crapola. It's time for you to move forward and start anew. Because it's waiting for you, Saji. It's here. It's like, hi, we, money's here for you. Love is here for you, fun is here for you, adventure is here for you, but you're, some of you are, are still like holding on to something here, this devil energy. Wow, 
didn't expect this one to go like that, but it's a good one because, you know, it's time to let go of the ego. It's time to let go of the fears and all this, like, shit that's holding us down. You are worthy. You are powerful beings of light. Remember, I'm always going to say that. Okay, because you are. We, the people, you, the people, do not have to listen to this crap. So, I got a beautiful divine doors. And I want to show you which door needs to open for Sagittarius, please. Okay, that one. Ooh, look at this feels like Thailand or Indonesia, but it's like a Buddha. Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. Pass this card on. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I can't, I, I didn't, you saw I shuffled. So abundance is waiting for you. Abundance is here for you. Let go of Whatever's holding you down, what doesn't make you happy, the control that, I don't know what it is, feels very stifling. Once you let that go, I mean, abundance and love will come around. All right, Saji, that was really actually beautiful <laughs> in a way. There's a lot of, some work to do, but it's good. It's good to, it's here. This is like part of your karma. So you need to let this go. You, it's like if you uh, if you come to a, um, a finalization of this, this will never come back to you. You won't have to have to deal with this again because that's how karma works. Like, so I love you, and I will see you next week. Please do check my new pick a card that just came out last Thursday, and also. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you and I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. So we got the Hierophant, which is the Taurus card. If you have Taurus in your chart, it could be relevant to you. If there's a Taurus around you, they could be helping you through this. Um, Hierophant is a really interesting card. I love the Hierophant because I'm a Taurus. <laughs> so, because it's all about. Um, there's a few things about this. It's like, because in this original deck, he's like this bishop, very rigid, very like um, ignorant, <laughs> right? But I don't find that this, this I don't, I don't, um, when I look at the Hierophant to me, it feels like a spiritual leader instead of like a, you know, narrow minded kind of leader of a religious order I feel like more it's um, and it's very about education it's all about to be the hierophant it's, it's, it's about expansion opportunity like seeing things um, learning about new ways of doing things um, could be spiritual practices but it doesn't have to be also the hierophant when it comes out it feels like a bit like a tortoise energy where they when you you feel like stuck in a rut you're stuck in like you're trying to make a decision and you're not sure where to go and when a Taurus is stuck in a rut it's like they are plant their feet are planted in that ground so it's almost like you're in this and you're a Capricorn so you're a fellow a fellow earth sign like us and so it feels that way but uh, it also could be marriage I'm just saying <laughs> So let's see what the card means to you and how we need to end this karmic uh, lesson for you. So Capricorn, please. For the last week of June, I will continue saying it's like amazes me that we're already in July, people. <laughs> freaks me out <laughs> okay nine of swords what is this decision that's making you that's ailing you eight of cups two of swords knight of swords 
I just, this thing just popped out of here. Look what's here. Three of swords, nine of swords. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a uh, heartbreak, a, like um, a breakup, uh, a death maybe in your family, something heavy. And the Hierophant is here to help you through this, is help you um, see the light, help you um, walk you through this, maybe. Maybe you need to reach out to a spiritual guru or a, a teacher or a tarot reader or anyone that is can help you um, through the trying times that you are. I mean, obviously, not every single Capricorn is going through a trying time right now, but this pull here feels like that because this Eight of Cups energy shows up and it's like you walking away. You're, what are you walking away from? So you're walking away from something that um, makes you feel like this, right? So it could be a relationship that you're having to walk away finally from, or uh, you're walking away from um, this, uh, the, at the end, same time when I said marriage, I guess it could be divorce as well, but um, you're walking away from a job that's like bringing you down you're needing to walk away from that or people that make you feel like this but it's interesting because the two of swords shows up here and it's this energy of like having being at a crossroads and having to make a decision and you have that knight of swords energy so right and I like the way he's pointing this way and the eight of cups is moving this way if you look at that it's like you're you're ha you're having to make a really interesting decision wow one decision is like quick and brutal <laughs> and like maybe what you need to do and the other one is a slower decision like okay you're like uh, it's your full emotions you're um you're, you're, you're definitely wanting to move away, but you're feeling nostalgic. You're feeling maybe I need to stay. Maybe I need to, uh, because I owe this, my boss this. Maybe I owe this, my partner this. Maybe I owe my family like this. And this one is like, no, I don't care. No, nah, I, I just gotta go. Very interesting decision that needs to be made here, Capricorn. Whatever it is, it feels very, heavy to me with this it feels like you've been harboring this and you've been holding on to this you've been thinking about this forever for nine months maybe nine weeks maybe nine years maybe some of you or three the source is usually weeks it could be nine weeks or three weeks but it's something that's been um you've been like considering and there's this like Either we move, but like the Knight of Swords is in the future energy. It's like in the end of the week energy kind of thing. It's almost like it's time to make that, like make it quick. Stop um, wondering, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Because if it's really making you feel like this, this you don't need to be feeling like this, right? And it, I'm, like, I, like I'm talking now, it could be relationship job, and it could also be you feeling um, overwhelmed by this world, overwhelmed by the decisions that people are making around you, overwhelmed by like the, you know, the crap that's out there. And you're like, I don't know what to do. Do I... Um, you know, do I make that decision that everybody else wants me to or do I just sit there and listen to myself and listen to my heart and make that decision? But definitely this feeling needs to like not be here with us. This is like heavy. You may have lost somebody and um, still you need to make a decision whether you So there's these eight of cup because the eight of cup and the nine of swords feel the same energy to me one is like slower than the other but it's still uh leaving it's still moving away from something the knight of swords is like warrior energy it's like just like cut through the bullshit and go for it do it because this is an energy that i don't want to stay in
star shows up. Like, the star is here to say, um, feel the emotions. It's okay to feel the emotion, but forgive yourself and release yourself from this. Whatever it is that's holding you down, or something's holding you. Um, could be just a friend, even, that's not good for you, and you're keep, mm, 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 you say, well, I really like it. Or it could be, like I said, a relationship, a job, anything. It's just a really um, interesting choice that you have to make, but the choice actually doesn't make you feel good. Like the the um, the the reasoning, the situation is not uh, it's not healthy. This is an Aquarius, if that means anything for you. The Knight of Swords energy is as is a Gemini energy. Because the Ace of Cups shows up here. It's like there's new love waiting for you. There's a new opportunity waiting for you at the, at the end of all this. But you're needing to release yourself from all of this. And you need to make that decision. So I don't know what it is for you. And that Hierophant shows up. And that's like maybe you need to look, go to your mentor and ask, um, ask for advice from someone, a counselor or... Um, a spiritual person or um, but I, b because of the cards I really feel like it's time to walk away whether you do it quickly or slowly but it's the only way to rid yourself of this karma it, and, and, when, and when you do it this is what shows up like your hopes, your dreams, everything coming true, your, 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 um, what you're supposed to do, your spiritual mission, your spiritual purpose, your life purpose. Wow. It's got heavy fast, but, um, I think it, it weighs on this decision so I'm not sure what it means for you like um, I'm feeling very much there could be a relationship issues um, but obviously not everybody's having this and also about a um, specific decision about what's going on in the world that 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 feels here with the swords energy showing up I'm not going to get political, but that's what it feels like. So, what is, uh, what door is opening up for Capricorn? All right. Beautiful. Sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain. Okay, let me start this again. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. So release yourself from this old energy and pain and let it fade into the sun and get ready for this to come in for you. So um, I wish you well this week, but um, know that whatever decision that needs to be made, it will release you from uh, heaviness, it will release you from this karma that you've been carrying around and it will actually open you up to a new love, a new opportunity, new business, new, uh, your dreams coming true. So I know it's, it feels hard when you're in that situation, but know that whatever's waiting for you in the boundaries, outside of those boundaries is really positive. It feels very good. So I wish you well. I send you blessings, Capricorn. I love you. And I will see you next week. Also check out my pick of cards and like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. We got the sun is shining. The sun is amazing. The sun is like, what is going on with my hair here? <laughs> okay. The sun is all about uh, new ideas flowing in new like paths opening up for you like you're like, on this awakening journey like sun is shining some something um 
good is coming your way. Happiness, peace, freedom, love may be coming in your, in your life. Romance might be coming in too. It just feels really good. But also it feels like, I always say this, the sun, you got to be careful because it's all the self card. It's the I am card, which is beautiful. It's a Leo. But there, like, could be ego as well. So beware of your ego this week. I know you're feeling it, you're feeling great about yourself, but maybe um, hone that shit down, <laughs> all right? So, <laughs> because it could offend other people. But the sun is interesting coming in as a karma. What is that you need to let go? Maybe it's ego that you need to let go of. Uh -huh. Let's see what it's going on. Oh, we have to uh, shine the light on something. So Aquarius, please, for my beautiful Aquarians that we're entering into their age. Are you, this is a good sign to be going out in that sun and activating yourself. We got the Seven of Cups energy. Okay, you wanna talk to Aquarius. With the Ten of Wands underneath. Sagittarius. Ooh. We got the seven of, seven of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Very interesting energies here. So, Seven of Cups already tells me we got tons of ideas coming in with the Sun card. So, you do, you have like seven ideas maybe coming in this week. Like, Take these ideas, run with them, do them. Like do whatever it is that's coming your way. Like stop thinking about things, stop putting it aside, just do it, run with it. Like it doesn't even, even if the idea is like, what, right? Write it down, write it in your journal. There's the, there's this, the Aries sign here, the emperor that comes in with the sun, which is ego, ego. And then we have this Ten of Wands and this Eight of Swords energy. So like I feel like some of you are in the, in the process of making a decision that feels very heavy to me. But in this, in this, this with this energy, it feels like you're, you're being asked to step it up a notch, to let go of anything that's holding you down, to let go of any doubts that you have, and to actually just uh, roll with the punches. That's what I'm feeling with this energy. The Emperor's like, okay. The Emperor shows up with the Sun card. They're both very I am cards. They're very both like self cards. Uh, they take care of business. They take care of their stuff. They take care of whatever it is they need to do in their lives. They don't listen to other people. I mean, Aquarius doesn't either, but this one is interesting. It's just like, it's more of you, um, you like this week you might have an opportunity that comes your way you might have a um a love interest that comes your way or something comes it's coming in for you and they're asking you to pay attention shine a light on it and um be very strong about it when it comes your way if someone offers you a job then take don't take the job just because look at the job is it worthy for you is it going to make you happy Leo, is it going to make you happy? Is it going to bring you in the financial abundance that you want? If it's not, next. That's what I feel here. It feels very um, definitive, this energy here. It's like uh, you've, been, you've, you've been through this. You've, you've wavered you've, uh, on, on ideas and things like that that have come into your life in the past. And jobs came in, you took them because uh, other people wanted you to take them, but it made you feel like this. You did things for other people because, but it always made you feel like tied down or like always pushing up against something. And you weren't listening to your wheel of fortune. You weren't listening to your destiny. Because your destiny is to be this, this sun to be this like um, overly confident 
overly passionate person, not listening to other people. You need to you need to embody the emperor this week, Aquarius, in the knowing, in the I know. The Aquarius motto is I know, and the uh, emperor is I am. <laughs> right. So. Um, it's like a really interesting transition here because you have all these ideas coming in, these opportunities coming in, which I feel like they are coming in to you. But you need to be very uh, straightforward, honest with yourself, uh, not caring of other people's input, and listen to you. And I like the Four of Swords shows up. The Four of Swords energy is like, when, when, let's say this job opportunity comes your way or this love interest comes your way or this opportunity to travel the world comes your way or just some, like someone asks you, do you want to go to um, whatever, the seaside in two weeks? And you're like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not. Yes. Yes. I mean, not yes, like the emperor is like, yes. But the four swords is like, I'm going to think about it and then I'm going to come back with you and answer. But that's... And I still feel like that, that is the energy here. It's like, do what's right for you, not what's right for everyone else. That's the energy here. Take that time for yourself, within yourself, but listen to yourself. Because you got this. You understand what is best for you. Um, sometimes you might tend to listen to others around you, but they don't have your best interest, even if they do have their best interest. But it's really what you want inside. Because this is, like your um, destiny. And this is also opportunities coming your way, luck coming your way. Luck will come your way again. Beautiful. When you listen to you, you go inside, you listen to your heart, your higher self, not your ego, not the ego. We gotta let that ego go. Not the ego, even the emperor's ego too. Here, the, the message is that, and that's how we end your karma. Karma, your karma is that you've always listened to ego. You've always been, um, you've let other people rule your life, control your life. And now it's time for you to say step back or step forward and say, nope, I'm taking control of my life again. I'm taking the reins of my life. I'm going to make the decisions. Whatever it is works for me, works for me. It's too bad if you don't not comfortable with it. I'm sorry that you're not comfortable with it, but you're comfortable with it. That's the feeling I have here. Wow. Aquarius, you don't disappoint ever. So I'm gonna pick a little card from my beautiful divine doors. Which door is opening for Aquarius this week? I mean, there's like a lot of strong energy here for you, Aquarius. Ooh. Okay. Wow, look at this. I'm going to show you what this means. 11, 11 people. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Pass this card on. So pass this love on to people. Pass this synchronicity on to others. Pass this knowingness that you got this here. It's so funny. I got to pick a card that's 1111. Go check that out too. Um, I feel good about this Aquarius. It feels um, it's come at the right time for you. You're ready to take on a new chapter in your life. You're ready to let go of um, that ego that always wants to come and play and make decisions for you. And now you're ready to listen to your higher self. So I will see you next week. Um, like, comment, subscribe as usual, and check out my pick a card reading, the 1111. Maybe it's meant for you. I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. We got the beautiful Hermit card. The Hermit is a Virgo. If that means anything to you in your chart, then it's significant. The Hermit is also this this dual thing for me. It's like the Hermit is going within figuring out what you want in your life, actually going in and asking questions to yourself and um, trying to 
figure out exactly what it is that you want in your life what is best for you in your life this this this, this is a, like a kind of decision that's needing to be made at this point in time this week but it's also like this and once you get to know this decision i think it rolls into what i also think is this believes is that he's the he leads by example he lights the way once he's retracted in that cave he thinks about it assesses it analyzes it figures it out and then he comes out and he holds that lamp and he leads the way this is what you are being asked to do pisces go within look at the situations in your life whether it's love whether it's job whether it's travel whether it's personal journey your family your friends whatever it is that you have that's going on in your life your health whatever and ask those questions is this what i really want is this what i really want how can i do to change this like these are the questions like these are profound questions to ask but as the only way you can lead the way after and you can see the light in the dark right you can see the light in the cave so let's see and that is a karmic lesson that needs to be learned so let's see what is going on with you a beautiful fish so Pisces, please, for the last week of June. Okay. I listen to that voice in my head. <laughs> okay. So, we got the Eight of Swords in the bottom of a deck. So, some of you are like... Um, being held down by a decision, you're um, having a hard time um, between, you're, you're like, you're not even at a crossroads anymore. You're just having a hard time making a decision that you know that you need to make. So let's see what it is. Again, seven of cups. We just got this for Aquarius. Ten of cups. Woohoo! Three of swords. All right, guys, this is interesting. So for me right now with this hermit and all these cards that show up, Seven of Cups to me feels like you have, your head is filled with a lot of decisions to make and you're, you're um, they're weighing heavy on you. Love, it could be love, right? It could be love, it could be your job, it could be um, your awakening journey, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be decisions that you have to make because governments are asking you to make them. It could be um, what's going on in this outside world. Just all this, like just so much, like your health, you know, there's it's more than seven, but whatever. Um, you're having to make a decision in your life and it's like killing you because of what I see here. In here and I think it's something that you've been having to do for a long long time and you're um, avoiding it you're ignoring it it's just easier it's easier to just go within right it's easier to go inside the cave and not come out just stay in there but um, wow man it feels to me that once that decision is made, you're guaranteed happiness in your home, happiness in your life, happiness and all around happiness and joy in your life. It's all up to you to make a decision. You're having to make this decision. And the Three of Swords, at the, at the end of this, at the future thing, comes in feeling like you, you're going to find happiness you might break some hearts you people around you might or not be happy with your decision but in the end in the end it it, it helps you like release this burden from you and from these people who are not happy or you even it might even hurt you it might even break your heart to make this decision i feel that very strongly and that's why you're wavering, wavering, wavering. But the Six of, of Swords comes in and says, you got to go. It's time. You got to go. 
So I don't know what it is. Like it could be a love relate. Like I said, this all the situations that I already brought up. They could be all of that, and I feel like very strongly. And I don't know if it's all the fish out there, but definitely some fish are holding on to, um, holding back from making a decision because you know that it's going to cause pain in your heart and other people's hearts. But you know what? This is waiting for you. This is your kind of your destiny. You are going to be happy. It might not feel good for everyone else or yourself for the beginning or the end, but it will come back to this. It, this is for me the core of this. Um, this to me is exactly the karma that you're having to deal with. Like you're um, by holding on to this this decision that you need to make, you're just keeping the karma. Uh, like a cycle just moving moving just keeps coming back coming back the cycle just instead of like you got to cut it out it doesn't make people feel good it doesn't make you feel good but in the end this is the result because if you don't this is the result if you don't make that decision then you lose you're going to lose on this you lose on this happiness and you're gonna end up this again so you're it's like you're repeating your cycle again so instead of like putting to bed this karma and saying okay I gotta do this I gotta cut this person I gotta cut this person out of my life I gotta uh, end it I gotta end the, this job that's like just like what is it doing to me is not bringing anything for me I got to um, why am I friends with this person why am I my family is just not working I'm not aligned you know it's just like a um, when you when you know that you're just a light in a human body it's okay to make these decisions for <laughs> when to get there you have to get there I just feel like um, it's time and for those of you who understand this that you're watching this I think you understand me and if those of you don't understand me then um, There is, there's, go sit in that cave and uh, listen to my words and try to look at everything that you, that's happened in your life that hasn't made you feel good and why is it that keeps coming back over and over again. So I bought this little divine doors, so cute. I think it's called divine doors, but um, oracle cards, they're all little doors. And which door wants to open for Pisces? This one came flying out. Beautiful. Feels like Machu Picchu. Let's see. I mean, I've been here before, but I don't know if that's one. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to beat. Palo Santo or Sage will clear the air. That's always a good thing to do. So, Maybe you need to clear your energy. Maybe you need to clear your space. You take out that palo or that smudge and clear this energy when you're going in that cave to better understand so you could see clearly because um, we, we want to step away from this like swords energy because we all we want for you is this, right? Happiness. All right. I love you, my beautiful fish, and I will see you next week. As well, please check out my pick a card reading. I got an 1111 out there. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. And